Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be putting the roof up, at least framing the roof. We got a steel roof to put on, but first we got to get all the framing done. And it's snowing here. We've already missed the window to complete the cabin before the snow arrives. But we'll get it tidied up and make it so that we can enjoy the rest of the winter in a nice shelter. So what's been good about this project is as soon as we're short on any lumber, we just go fetch it. We've got some giant pieces of uh, some kind of pine. We're throwing it up, ripping two by fours. Actually got a Kubota. Couldn't lift them anymore, so we ended up getting a tractor. That's my brother. He wanted a tractor for a long time. So we got the forks on the front of this thing. And we can uh, pick them up, throw them right on the mill. Of course, we've been doing fine just lifting them up, but it's nice to have a little extra hand with this big stuff. And then we can now we can go fetch some really, really big things. So yesterday we got the loft up. As you can see, that's the loft space. So try to orient you guys, it's tough without everything. There's a doorway here, there's a balcony here. You'll jump up the balcony, at the door, and then when you spin around, when you spin around here, there's gonna be the loft. So we're gonna throw a ladder here. You're gonna be able to climb up and jump on top of the loft. The loft is gonna be vaulted ceiling. So peaked roof, very peaky. And then when you walk in, you're gonna have window here, window on the back wall here. This one's open. This one opens as well. Over here, we'll have an, another opening window as well. There'll be a sitting area here on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, there's gonna be the kitchen. I'm gonna get that gas stove and throw it in there. There's a front door here again. And this big picture window will not open and uh, the wood stove will be here. We'll have to play around with the sitting area here, table, all that good stuff. We got to get that big tall ridge beam in on the top first and then we're going to tie into that with a ridge pole. So we got two by sixes. We have a couple over here, right there. The rest are going to come in after but we're going to get the orientation right so we want to get that peak right so we got to get the angles right on the two by sixes before we drop them in and the bird's mouth to drop on top of the top sill and we're going to double those up beforehand so that's what's on order for today we've pretty much gone through all the milling we need to do for the roof there might be a few spare pieces here and there we need to collect yesterday we cut down that big tree that was uh, the big cherry tree that was potentially going to land on the cabin so we got rid of that uh, so looking good once we get that roof in or the roof framing in, then we can throw the steel structure in which will be nice and then we'll actually be sheltered so there's our big ridge pole that's going to be the hardest part of probably of getting the roof up aside from all the grunt work so that's our 16 foot big beefy ridge pole that's going to hold up all the roof. Building this cabin you can certainly understand why people build small structures especially when they were doing everything by hand. You know you get warm enough doing all the work to get yourself warm enough which is probably why they didn't even bother making big indoor structures there. They were always outside getting warm anyway and the truth of the matter is in most temperate climates, you don't need an indoor shelter. Kind of what is this? Ash. Apparently it's the milling person's nemesis. I didn't seem to have a problem with it. So I can hear our flooring's about to arrive. We've got ash that was pre-milled. Kevin had milled it a long time ago. He had stickered it and let it to dry. So it's actually gonna go up right now. Ideally, we wouldn't put it up right now, but we need a platform to work on. So we're going to throw it up on the attic space. We're going to cover it with a tarp to make sure that we don't grind mud into the floor. If you grind mud into the floor, it's there and you got to sand it out and it takes a lot of work to sand out, especially with the conditions here. It's wet, and sloppy.
pretty high up here. Thanks. These gaps here, just for now, we're actually gonna slide everything that way. And then we'll have a gap on the back side. So we're gonna cut this at six, and we're gonna add an extra six. It'll work out. So here's our beam, we got it up. And we've got some planking. We cheated and we used some store-bought lumber for our uh, scaffolding. So we gotta run up basically uh, about six fifths and change. Up here, beam goes across. To the other side and then we're going to drop it down top and then we can put our rafters left and right six feet off the ground up there and the same thing over here on the other side this should be easy it's pretty uh safety eventually that's what i say <laughs> Side's in. That side's in. It's a little precarious still, though. All right, so we just cut out a uh, template for the rafter to so just see if it fits. And check the top. It's good. And the bird's mouth bottom. Good. And then all we have to do down there is cut that same angle as the one we have on the top. So if our math is all correct, we'll have to cut 24 of those out. We're gonna do them on the ground, it's easier. Slap them together and we'll have a roof. You know, we got the main part of the framing done. The next big pain in the butt is gonna be putting that roof up. And this weather is not fun. Once the roof is up, then we're kind of in the clear. Because after that, we just rip a bunch of cedar down. We can frame it or we can side it all in. And then we're in the warm and the dry and we we'll probably get the wood stove going in there and then dry out some of that wood and then move on to the rest of it, which is going to be insulation and windows and all that. Lock it up, at least have a building where we can kind of duck into and out of this weather. Here's a look at what we got. It doesn't look like much, a bunch of sticks hanging up there, but that's the majority of the building. It's pretty big. Got a load of rafters coming right now. Evan's bringing the Suzuki out here. I hear it coming just now. Just got our delivery of lumber, which we ripped. We pre-ripped all these two by sixes because we knew we need them. And we wanted to use the better weather for gathering stuff out of the woods. So there's all our rafters. We'll have to cut them when we get here. There's the template we cut out the last time. And this end here. So we gotta replicate this side, that angle on here, and transfer it to this one, as well as the other 24 over here or so. Probably a little bit more than 24, but we'll see when as we get going. If we're short one, we can always cut some more. Now there's one way to take a chill off of whew, this kind of weather. Wow, big bonfire. <sighs> Completely necessary in these conditions. We gotta burn all the scrap wood anyway. There's a lot of deadfall in the forest and we've been working away at clearing a lot of it because the animals clearly can't use it. You can see over here, all that blow down area here. I mean, it's, it's good cover you'd think for animals. 
but a lot of the uh, new trees can't grow up here and also um they can't the deer can't actually walk through this area here it's too thick and they've been avoiding my brother's property quite a bit they're mostly on the other side here so the idea would be to actually produce a make a pond in this area and then draw some of the wildlife and then clear um, all the deadfall so that the animals can actually walk through there the animals won't they won't you know the squirrels and all that stuff will go through here, but the the deer can't walk through here there's a couple of the rafters up there already there's more to come the shittiest day ever In order to finish off this part of the roof, we actually have to frame in the front porch here. And uh, we're short on the pillar, so that has to go there. But then, when we finally do all that, we need actually a front piece that goes all the way across. Yep. So back here, we got a tree hung up, and we got the Suzuki tugging it out. Hold it! Now it's all bound up again. You're stuck. stuck. You're stuck. Turn the car off. So now we're hung up here and up there. And there's no way it's moving anymore until we get around this mess. most of it? I don't know. No, it's all shared. You on your line? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 